Hi everybody, Unity developers! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to instantiate a game object and move it after a mouse click. Check it out! So we have a game scene here. I've already placed a gun, a bullet here, which is inside the gun. If I hide the gun, it's here. Okay. In this position, we have an end point which is where the bullet, after it gets spawned, you know, it stops its movement. Then we have a spawn point where the bullet will get instantiated, you know, and fired. And it's at the same position of the bullet here. Okay, in order to do that, you just need a few lines of code. Here they are, and I'm going to explain you line by line. So I first declared a few public game objects and transforms. When you declare something public, you have to go to the editor then and attach them here in the editor. You know, for instance, the bullet, the endpoint, and the spawn point. I've already done that. Then we have a game object which is private and it's called spawn bullet, which is actually the clone of our bullet that will be instantiated. Last, we have a public boolean here, is fire bullet. That's because we have to check if the bullet is spawned and also if it's moving. We go directly inside the update function. First of all, if input.getMouseButtonDown0, it means that update method checks if we click the left mouse button. Then we check if is fire bullet, okay, if the bullet is has been instantiated and it's moving. If it doesn't move and if it's not instantiated, we instantiate our private game object here, spawn bullet. With this function, instantiate the bullet, our original game object, we have to make a clone of actually. The spawn point position where it starts and quaternion is about the rotation of our new instantiated object. So it's zero because it actually has to reflect the same rotation of our original game object. Then we set is fire bullet as true and we fire immediately a coroutine called reset bullet. Why? Because in this coroutine we tell Unity that after 0.3 seconds we set is fire bullet as false and destroy the spawn bullet, so our cloned object. This comes because we need to save memory in our game, okay? Can imagine if you spawn like a hundred bullets and they stay in the scene, you know, without getting destroyed, so the memory will actually increase and the performance of your game will decrease. Then, still inside the update function, we check if uh, is fire bullet is true and we move our clone object with this move towards function. So spawn bullet transform position it's equal to a vector 3 move towards. So the spawn bullet transform position, this is where it starts, will have to move towards the endpoint position, which is this point, okay? As we said before. This is the speed. I've set a float number, you know, like 16, multiplied by a default function for Unity, which is time dot delta time. Okay, that's pretty much it. Let's play the game and see how it works. So if I click the mouse, bang, bang, and bang again, you know, here's how it looks like. You can check out in the scene, actually, to view it from a different perspective. You can see in the hierarchy that once I click the mouse, the bullet gets fired, it moves, and we create a clone here, the spawn bullet, it's a clone, it's instantiated, and it creates the effect of firing the bullet. Okay, thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to my channel in order to stay updated about new videos and tutorials, and if you want to have some fun and keep your brain in a good shape, you can also check my puzzle games, you can find the link in the description. See you next time!